Welcome, everybody, to another Amigo with an Ego podcast. Um, today, honestly, I'm just going to talk about random things that are going through my head because I'm really just trying to test out my Zoom H4N that I bought like a week ago and I haven't got a chance to use it. And I feel like I'm still figuring out, you know, um, all about it. I got I think I think I got to figure out how to get better sound quality for because when I've heard other people's podcasts who use it or just um, recordings in general that they have that they use, like it's pretty silent. And for me, I can kind of hear like a little bit of hiss. And that's probably coming from my part because I don't have a soundproof room. Um, it's not treated in any way to be quiet. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. But I'll figure that out. So just bear with me through that noise. If you can hear it, I'm not sure. But so today, I guess I wanted to start the podcast off with, you know, I talk a lot about my job and and all the stuff that I've kind of gone, you know, gone through while working um, and, and, and my experience in, in Florida. Overall, I would say. I'm happy here for the reasons outside of, like, work, of course. I don't know. Does anybody really ever like their job, love their job? I feel like I feel like most of America has to. Otherwise, are you really just motivated to work because you need money or you need to pay bills? Or what is it? What is it that drives you or motivates you to wake up or to clock in, I guess, so... Um, but you know, for me, it, it right now, it it could just be my mindset, or I I don't know, I don't know. But like when I go to work now, it's not the same feeling. I don't have the same feeling. Like I dread going, and it kind of sucks. It sucks because you know I wanted this to become a career, and I wanted to do, I wanted to try to do more than than like just a a retail side of Nike you know I have a lot of ideas and and stuff like that and I kind of wanted to branch out away from the retail side but right now I just I don't know if that's going to be possible or if you know it's even something that I can should even consider or think about you know that would be my dream job doing something you know using my creativity to for the company that I love, that I've always loved, rather be Nike or or Jordan. But so, for instance, like, you know, yesterday I had a a morning shift. So I show up, they have the doors locked. There's no one in the, you know, front of the store. So I call manager who I kind of had a conflict with, I I, I guess, Um, which I guess I'll talk about that now um, after this. But you know, so I call, she picks up, you know, I let her know, hey, I'm at the front door. And I, I'm pretty sure I heard a, a slight, like, like, you know, when you hang up the phone, a click. And so I'm just like looking there. I put, I look at my phone and it's still counting down. Like if someone's on the line, put it back to my ear. I don't hear anything. I look again. And she had hung up. Now, mind you, she didn't say, okay, I'll be there in a second or nothing. She just hung up on me. Now, I know no matter what conflict or issues you've had with people, you know, I, you still have to be respectful. You know, you still work with somebody. And to kind of do that, it makes me feel disrespected you know disrespected and and those things you know to me respect is a huge thing whether you like somebody or not like you just respect them you know you got to work with this person so it's like I don't know but it it, it kind of you know that's those are the type of things that make me not want to go to work I why why should I be there if I if I'm not wanted there if I'm not 
that's one of my big things. If you don't, if you don't feel appreciated or, or, or needed or wanted in any ways, it's, you're not going to put your, your best effort in anything. And I feel like that just, you know, is true with anybody, any job. So, but let me tell you, so one of the issues that, you know, I had with her one time, um, it started with her not being able to make my schedule right. Um, she came on to do, you know, our schedules and she wasn't, well, she still hasn't figured it out. I mean, let's be real. She's been there about three or four months now and she still doesn't, um, get schedules right. And she's still messing my schedule, which, you know, is not cool and it should be an easy, you know, thing to do. I would think, I don't think messing up someone's schedule should be that hard when you have availability you turn it in it should be in the system don't schedule somebody if they're not able to work those hours past those hours or any but so it started with that you know i kind of she i asked for some days off where i needed just like the night off and she ended up giving me like entire days off and i'm like that's not good obviously and this is i was still um full-time back then like working a full-time not part-time like i am now so i was available from 6 a.m all the way till 6 you know p.m and what happened was she just gave me like two entire weeks off and that was just i was like what so you know, I talked to another manager. I said, how how do I go about this? How do I go about fixing this? Whatever. He told me, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll let her know. So, you know, um, he sent her out an email. He, he, he CC'd me in it. I think that's what it's called, if I remember. <laughs> and, you know, let her know, hey, Luis said this, blah, blah, whatever. Let her down. All of a sudden, she, you know, emails me back and includes like the store manager and she says i don't recall you basically try to blame me and say that i was lying so obviously i had a screenshot of everything on my phone so i screenshotted it send it in the email to make sure that all the managers you know above me were like tagged in it and her as well and and let her know this is what it looks like uh i was very nice you know i wasn't ever mean and I said, this is what it looks like. This is my hours. As you can see, the hours are right there. Um, and, I, and I let her know, like, I mean, I'll take the time off. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, I just didn't want my status, you know, as, as, as working full time, you know, stuff. Like, if I didn't want that to be affected or I didn't want them to take my PTO because this is, you know, I'm not requesting like full days off. So whatever. So. I don't I don't even remember now because it was so long ago. I don't even remember what happened. If I picked up shifts, if I got more hours. I don't know. Um, but I I feel like she was she took offense to that. Like I was trying to I I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, we never talked about it. We never did anything like a sit down, nothing like that, you know? Um, so and then another incident. So we had some shoes. If if you're familiar with with sneakers, uh, we had some, you know, um, Jordan 13s, like a black and yellow that was supposed to be released. And for some reason, they were turned into, um, well, they didn't turn into, they were just weren't made to Nike's standards. So instead of Nike selling them and, and, and getting backlash, whatever, they just turned them to B grades and they sent them to um, the the factory stores. And we got a whole bunch of them and, you know, they just mark them as B grades, which, you know, if you know, you know what a B grade is, that's just, you know, a, a shoe that has some defect on it. It's probably eight times out of 10, I would say it's not even noticeable. Um, but do we just instead of trying to, you know, release them for full price and then getting backlash, like I said, they just drop the price and and that's it. And so one time 
a consumer who I th- I'm pretty sure he knew what he was doing. He looked like he had, you know, he he was a sneakerhead, I guess you could say. So he, of course, grabs the shoe and is looking at it and goes up to the front and says, hey, I, can I get a discount? Because this one is, it had like a little bit of red on it or that bled through or something like that. I don't know. And, you know, someone said it over the mic, whatever. And I, being the knowledgeable person that I am, and obviously, you know, following up with this stuff, you know, over the mic, I said, hey, just to let you guys know, in the future, we are not to give um, a discount off of those shoes because they're already B grades, meaning that they're discounted. There's something wrong with them. Like every shoe that we have has something wrong with them. Like you can be picky and you'll find something wrong with them. Therefore, like we can't, we shouldn't give out a discount. And then next thing I know, she gets on the mic and she's like, hey, I was the one who approved it. So if you got an issue, you know, come talk to me or something. I don't remember exactly. This has been a while. So, and I, and it was just like, wow, like she had just started working. So she didn't know. Honestly, when she started, she didn't know a, a LeBron shoe from a Jordan shoe. Which is another thing that has bothered me because, you know, Nike always makes a big deal about, like, you have to work your way up. You have to earn your way, you know. um, And then they just allow someone to come in from Victoria's Secret or just another store. And, yes, she has experience, but at the same time, there's many, many candidates, I would say, that are qualified internally, especially in the market that I work at because there's just so many stores. Like, if you can't find somebody in this market that's it's kind of crazy that's that's more of a company thing i would say which not saying that there aren't people qualified i just feel like a lot of you know nikes just hold people down but that's a whole other issue something else another day to talk about and so we just kind of have always clashed or not seen eye to eye i guess and it kind of sucks because obviously i have to work for her she makes my schedules, so if she doesn't like me, she's going to, you know, not schedule me, right, or not schedule me at all, so, you know, I, it's it's kind of hard for me. I don't know what to do, but anyways, so that's going to be another issue that I'm going to take up because she's still not making my schedule right, and I have things I have to do that I can't work certain days, so it just kind of sucks, and I don't want to be looked at as a bad guy. I've already done enough in that store you know i feel like maybe they've never had an athlete come in there and and be as vocal or i don't want to say complain but just hey you know be demanding of certain things and i gotta i'm gonna have to do it again and it kind of sucks because i just wish things would get done the first time or the right way especially when you're set up to have that um but yeah so that's been um, my work time. And then today I, I went into work and I try to go in with a positive attitude. You know, manager sees me. He's like, hey, you're kind of giddy today. I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, come in with a good attitude no matter what. And, of course, I close with the bad manager. But I think she was going through some stuff today, too, because she had to um, go to the back and whatever. So, I mean... That's why I feel like she should understand we all got problems. We all have issues and stuff. And you shouldn't never take anything personal because at the end of the day, we got to work with each other. And that's it. It is what it is. So I'm sure I will have many, many more um, stories about work and that I'll talk about. But for now, we're going to stop talking about work right there for a little bit and move on um i mean another thing i want to talk about for me is do you ever just um uh like you're tired physically but your brain just doesn't turn off and i know a lot of people always say oh you know i i read a lot where people say um if you could only get inside my 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 brain like you wouldn't handle it or stuff like that and and I don't I don't know I don't know I feel like me I'm I'm just different from a lot of people 
I'm not saying that I'm better or, or nothing, but I'm just different. We'll be back after the short musical break. Hustle and motivate. Chop is a throwaway. Hustle the overway. That's why they follow me, huh? They think I know the way. Cause I took control of things. Ball in the solo way. And if you pattern my trend. And now back to your podcast. From a lot of people, the way I the way I tick, the way the stuff, the things, the way I see the world or this the, the just the way that you know i think i guess um and i and i i would like to think that i well i just feel like a lot of people don't really see things um that how the way i see them and i clash with people on that because to me it's easy for you know i can i'm like always always thinking of of something and when i try to describe it to somebody you know sometimes i may um leave stuff out details out when i'm explaining something or talking about something but it's just because you know in my head it's like you should be able to connect the dots type of thing and people can't and to me it's just like how can you not like it's right there and i get frustrated a lot and and i know it's something that I sh- I should um work on because obviously that that I should know that not everybody sees you know the world or or, or thinks like I do so I got to work on that I don't know but anyways where I was going with that is you know I could be tired and and all of a sudden like something comes to mind and my brain just is wide awake um like I've always said I function better at night. I do most of my stuff at night when it's like everybody, the whole world is sleeping and I'm up, you know, trying to create, trying to do stuff. And I always pay for it the next day. Um, But that's just the way I function. And and I hate it sometimes. I, I really hate it because I just want to sleep. Like I do want to sleep, but it's hard to sleep. Um, So, yeah, I don't I don't. I wish I could like figure out why that is. Um, but for me, it's just something difficult that I've never been able to, you know, um, process or figure out. And no matter what I do, I could work out two hours, three hours. I could, you know, run around in the day and and say like, Oh, you know, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to sleep good tonight, but it just never works that way. No matter what I do. And I always you know, will wake up my 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 brain, my mind wakes up, and it just wants to be creative. You know, at all hours of the night, and during the day, it's <laughs> I don't really even use my my brain or my creativity during the day, and, and it just turns on at night. And obviously, having a job where you work in the daytime, it doesn't it doesn't really help when you gotta be up early the next day. So that's like one thing that. If you're listening to this and you have any advice or anything at all, please let me know because I want to work on that. <laughs> okay, so if you know anything, please let me know. Um, one last topic um, before I end this. Uh, this is a ser- This is going to be a serious matter, and it's something that. I've thought about for a very long time. Um, and mom, if you're listening to this, don't don't get weird because I know how you think probably. So, um, but like for me, I think about death a lot or I always have. I've, you know, I lost my brother when I was nine years old. So death has always been, you know, something that I've had to learn to accept and deal with at a pretty young age. I don't, you know, um, because I feel like nine, you know, anything younger, maybe you don't, it doesn't really affect you that much. But, you know, if you're like four or five or six, and maybe some things you don't even remember. Or sometimes your first loss that you experience is a pet. But for me, it, it was, you know, my, my an older brother who, you know, it was, he was only 16. Um, so I was used to 
having him in the house you know i was around him he was he was somebody i look up to my role model and stuff like that so experience that experiencing that at such a young age and 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 not to mention you know what what it does you know to your family members you know when someone passes away and you see that as a nine-year-old it's it's a lot to take in i'm not gonna lie and so you know i think about death way more than probably i allow people to know and even more now since i moved to florida because you know accidents you see them all the time you know i think i've said that before in 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 another podcast or or video i don't know but you know you, you always see car accidents and and just stuff like that you know but i think of, the way i think about death it's not that i'm afraid to die or i'm scared to die but it's just more like since i've seen what it does at a young age to the people who you know who are left the survivors you know that's what i think about i think about you know um how is it going to affect them if i'm gone so like i said i'm not afraid to necessarily die obviously because if you, when i think when you pass like it's not like you can do anything about it it's not like you're going to you know I mean, I guess I, I shouldn't say you're not going to experience it because, you know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Um, but it's just a, it's just a weird feeling for me because I, I get sad more thinking about, you know, who's who am I leaving behind type of deal. Does that make sense? Where I'm not worried about me not being here. It's the people that have to mourn me or stuff like that. So. And, and and like I said, also, I'm always just, you know, more aware. It, it's helped me because, you know, I am more aware. And I was about a couple months ago, I was driving to work and I was just at a stop sign. And it was like 530 in the morning, something like that. I was on my way to work and I was at a stop sign. And this guy like rammed, rammed into my bumper and, he, you know, he hit me pretty hard. But thankfully, in my car, no, nothing was wrong with it, whatever, not nothing but it's things like that that like scare you and it, it it makes you more aware of your driving your surrounding and stuff like that so in a way it's a good thing to go through something like that but um it does make you a little bit you know you know you're scared a little bit more on the road and not saying that obviously i'm not gonna die in a car crash i don't i would hope not but like i said it just opens your eyes up to other things and and i don't know it's just it's just weird but like that's those are the, that's one of the things i think about and another thing i used to think about um if i was gone like who who would remember me who would pass on you know what i was here in this life which i don't feel like i've accomplished much yet but hopefully in the future before you know i i've always just wanted to make an impact on one person's life if that's you know, if I can do that, then I would be happy, you know, for someone to, you know, I don't want to sound selfish or greedy, but if someone would miss me or would think about, wow, I remember he taught me this or he showed me this or, you know, I want to be that person that, you know, someone just randomly remembers and um, uh, hopefully with time I can make an impact like that for somebody. And I'm not talking about a girlfriend, a wife, or a kid, you know, son or or, or family member, I guess. I I want somebody, you know, outside of that circle because everybody's gonna your loved ones are always gonna remember you no matter what. So for me it's important to try to do that um before my time is up and like I said, I'm 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 hoping I have a lot more time <laughs> left um but it's it's something that i want to you know dr- strive for because to me i always think about like um things that have been here for a very long time but yet they're still you know going and it's like to think about wow this has been around um for this 
amount of time the person who started it has been long gone and here we are still here and to me those things just like I guess in a way they kind of fascinate me to think about like I forgot what I was it could have been like Pepsi or Coke when they said when it was created um and that was just like to me like wow it was created that long ago it's still here you know it's not going anywhere I don't think and here I am drinking it enjoying it whatever and and the person who created it has been long gone and he created this and it's still going and to me that is I guess remarkable in a way and you know something that I want to do and one of the things why I do this YouTube channel is because of that because I I feel this is unless YouTube is gone this is always going to be you know out there for somebody and until YouTube is done or the internet is done or something new comes along, this is always going to be here, which means somebody can get on the internet, get on YouTube and search me and be able to watch, be able to go back to this moment and, I don't know, enjoy watching, get some advice, whatever. Um, so it's just it's just weird. Like I said, my mind is different from a lot of people. If, if I could express my thoughts and everything and break it down the way I see the world, it, it, it would probably, I don't know, drive some people crazy and people would be like, why? why? Why do you think like that? Why do you do that? I don't, it's just the way I am. You know, I don't know. I am how I am and God created me that way, special or not special, but I feel I'm pretty special. I don't know if anybody else thinks, thinks that way, but they probably just think I'm a big pain in the ass, but that's okay. I guess I should thank my parents because I feel like I got those things from them in a way. Like, I think, I, I personally think I got the good of each one of my parents and put that together and that's what I am. I got a lot of bad, a lot of bad from them as well, but <laughs> I got a lot of good um things from them, I, I like to think. But, okay, I rambled on, and I'm going to end the podcast there. Oh, wait, wait, before I go, if you listen this long, if you if you dealt with my boring talk, um, I want to put this out there for my listeners, or um, I kind of, I don't, I don't want to do this type of podcast, all the time every once in a while I, I will I mean I, I love just getting on the microphone and just talking and and whatever and see where it takes me um because honestly I just I guess freestyle this it just whatever I didn't know I was gonna talk about this it just popped in my head um but I kind of want to try to have guests on here um I don't I don't care if you know me, you don't know me, like, you know, we don't have to say names, we don't have to say none of that. Like it strictly just be, you know, you on my podcast and obviously you don't have to be face to face with me. I don't need to know what you look like even. I don't I don't care about that. So um but I just want to have guests on here who are you know open, who who can talk about different topics, who can you know, hold a good conversation, obviously, um, and who's just willing to talk, you know, we can, I guess we can email each other back and forth and kind of think of topics, stuff you want to discuss, um, things like of that nature, um, uh, for instance, like, I, I, I really love psychology and, and helping people out, and, you know, um, so if you have questions, if you need advice, if you just, want to talk about any issue like to me that would be fun and like I said we don't we don't have to be friends after it's not like oh we did the podcast like let's stay in contact no um I don't need that either and unless that's something that you want to do like for instance I kind of if there's somebody who watches this and is like a sneakerhead let's you know let's talk about shoes I would love that um or if you're a LeBron or a Kobe or a Jordan fan or whatever, 
like let's debate that that i think that would be fun obviously you know we 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 can't get mad at each other or anything like that but i think it would be kind of fun to to um do that type of stuff and open up my podcast to more people and and i don't know maybe it'll 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 be better that way than you listening to me talk and ramble on for x amount of minutes and getting tired of it or maybe you don't even finish this and you didn't even get to this part maybe i should have done this first dang i don't know man i should, I, should, I guess i should have thrown this um in the first part of the podcast and i could have edited it out and done it that way but you know what that wouldn't be true to me and i don't want to do that so if you want to be on a podcast then shoot me an email and we can talk I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.